Why buy your next vehicle from Community Motors of Mason City? Great service from three locations. Community and Monroe, Community Motors Westside, and Mason City Ford. Ten new franchises and hundreds of vehicles to give you more choices. Plus, Community offers an exclusive 3-3 warranty on pre-owned vehicles and 10-year, 250,000-mile warranty on new. Need more reasons why? Stop or visit communityautogroup.com. Because nobody beats a community deal. Nobody. Good morning, everybody. It's 9.45, and it's uh, Tuesday, August 14th. At this time, I'm going to open up the Taylor County Board of Supervisors weekly meeting. Uh, the first item on the agenda is the agenda and the pr uh, approval of last week's minutes with the August 3rd special session and the August 7th regular session. Mr. Chairman, motion to approve the agenda and that's the third and the seventh. Okay. I'll second it. Okay, we got a motion second to approve today's agenda and the minutes from August 3rd to August 7th. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Any old business? Moving on to new business. County Engineer. How are you this morning, Mary? I'm good, thank you. Um, we took applications for the mechanic position and received four applications in the process that we're doing those right now. Um, and we have the general maintenance position posted, um, taking applications to August 20th. Um, S14 is open and 100% done. And then B20, they are placing some of the granular sub-base that goes under the the pavement and hopefully to be done with that this week and then they have the bridge approaches on the west end of the project to do and then hopefully paving um, end of August beginning of September. So that project's going to be right along. Um, so that's all I really have to report on. Um, so second item on the agenda for your consideration is a resolution to support a request for safety funding for B20 reconstruction project. As you know, the next portion of B20 is from Eagle around that curve south to um, 300 Street. And that curve currently, um, it's in the program to do next yeah. summer. And that curve has had some traffic uh, history where there's been um, at least six uh, single vehicle run off the road accidents um, with one fatality. Um, the state has established a a uh, safety uh, improvement program fund for projects that would qualify that have some sort of traffic history. Um, so the applications are uh, due this this week, and the application requires that the board of supervisors approve the request for funding, and that they will. Uh, a lot of times with these funding programs, they require a 20-year minimum maintenance. Well, I don't see B20 going anywhere so it shouldn't be a problem to maintain that. Um, the current curve has a 40 mile an hour posted advisory speed and the, and the speed limit <coughs> corridor is 55 miles an hour. So I'd like to try to get a, a redesign that curve for 55 mile, mile an hour speed, kind of pull it down to the southwest um, some distance. So um, very minimal right away on one parcel. And and hopefully that I, I just I don't think people are slowing down for that curve. They're not following that post advisory speed. If we do this redesign, we can make it safer. Oh. Hopefully eliminate those future accidents. Um, the total three mile project cost is estimated roughly at uh, two point one million. And I will submit the application for uh, three hundred and seventy thousand dollars, which would be um, cover the cost of the curve. That funding will help cover some items that will need to be done anyways because you'll have the pavement costs whether you relocate the curb or not. You'll have granular material costs, things like that. So it'll help pay for some of that anyways. So. Yes, that, that curve can uh, that curve can be a challenge in the winter time too. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, yes. It's very very sharp. Kind of flat as well. So. I see some uh, 
improvements seem to be done on the roadway already. Too. <laughs> yeah, you can see those in the pictures. Okay. Okay. Mr. Chairman, at this time we have resolution 2012-76 requesting uh, safety funding for the plenty of road construction. Okay, I'll uh, second resolution number 76. Okay, we've got a motion second to do resolution 2012 number 76 for a funding request for the safety on B20, uh, roughly $370,000. Is there any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor of resolution 201276, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anything else? I don't think so. If, if awarded that funding, it would be available July 2013, um, which would kind of put us on the same time schedule as this B20 portion that we're doing. Um, if you let it in May, by the time you could turn around and get the contract signed, and then they could start in July. Um, and then hopefully get it done in September like this one. So. When do you think you'll have uh, estimates for the box covers? Um, I'm still working on getting those sent out. Okay. I've been working on getting this done. Okay. And then um, the elevator and Dory did call us. They have some steel um, tanks that they can't use, so they wanted to scrap them. Um, they called us and see if we'd be interested. We're working on trying to get the logistics of getting them and use, using them as culverts on the county line uh, bridge that we posted so we can get that posting removed. Um, they're not cheap, but it's cheaper than putting in a culvert, and we can get the drainage area we need with those two pipes. So I um, talked to the county engineer in Flint County, and he was fine with that. He's used um, a similar thing in a few spots in his county and hasn't had any problems. So, Good. Um, hopefully we can get that done and it'll be more affordable than purchasing a box holder. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. You know, I may back your way up to the uh, mechanics position. Mm -hmm. Now, all those, of course, have been sent out internally, but uh, you got anybody interested in flopping back? I know. On the mechanics position? Yeah, like, you know, they went to road, you know, general maintenance and then. You know, uh, the general maintenance, internally, it, you have to have some mechanical experience. And internally, there's only probably one or two, two other yeah, people that's what that would be qualified to yeah. transfer into that position. And but, one's a foreman, and I think he's okay. happy where he's yeah, at. Yeah, well, yes. So. Yeah, I was just kind of thinking out loud. The four I received were all external ones, okay. the four applications. When did the posting close? Seven. Yeah, okay. was that last week, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, the seven. Okay. Anything else, Mary? Thanks, Mary. Thank you. Moving on to item B, auditor business. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, at this time I'd like to present the claim and motion to authorize your signature on the claims presented this morning. Second. Okay, we got a motion and second to authorize and have the chairman sign for appropriate on the claims. Is there any discussion? Carry on, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number two, payroll. Got a payroll change request for Joanne Shannon going to 1821 an hour, which moving into Deputy Patrol. Okay. This time I need resolution. <coughs> be a motion. Motion She's an to uh, approve the uh, payroll change for Joanne Shannon, moving with from jailer to deputy. Deputy. Second. Okay. We got a motion second to. For a payroll change for Joanne Shannon moving to 1821 an hour. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anything else in payroll? Yes, we have a new employee that we'll need a resolution for, Nathan Bruce, 1821 per hour in the Sheriff's Department, Deputy. Okay. Chairman, I have a resolution in 2012, number 77, the payroll resolution. 
I'll second said resolution for new hiree in the sheriff's department. Okay, we got a motion and second to resolution 2012 number 77 for a new hiree, Nathan Bruce, uh, at uh, 18 an hour as a new uh, deputy. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of said motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Before we move on, I think we'll, we'll do the first uh, public hearing this morning. It's at 9.55. We're uh, a couple minutes over. Uh, Tom, <coughs> would you like to uh, tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, the uh, first change of zone request is for Don Paulson. It's requesting a rezoning to A2 on a 4.97 acre parcel in the northeast quarter of the northeast quarter, section three in Bath Township. And there are currently two dwellings uh, on this uh, parcel, only one that's in the cabinet. The ordinance only uh, permits one dwelling per parcel uh, in the uh, ag and residential zoning classifications. Mr. Uh, Paulson indicated at the Planning and Zoning Commission meeting that uh, that other dwelling uh, would, would be removed. Uh, it's uh, located at 12954 Quail Avenue. Um, there are field accesses west of the acreage off 220th Street as well as south of the acreage off of uh, Quail. Planning Zoning Commission uh, met on this on August 2nd for public hearing, and uh, since the uh, since the second dwelling uh, had been satisfactorily addressed, uh, they recommended approval of the rezoning day two. Okay. We have the information we need at this time. I'll open up the public portion of this hearing. Uh, is there anyone who'd like to speak for or against? Chairman, there no comment from the public. Move to close the public portion of our hearing. And I'll second that. Okay, we've got a motion and second to close the public portion of the hearing. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, what is your wishes? Mr. Chairman, at this time I move resolution 2012, uh, number 78, approving Mr. Paulson's request for change of zone. Okay. And I'll second. Okay. We have a motion second to do resolution 2012 number 78 for a change of zone from 1A to 2A for Mr. Paulson. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thanks, Donnie. Yeah, for coming in. It is 10 o'clock and we will Head of the other public hearing. How would you like to tell us about This one's a little more complex. Uh, North Iowa Cooperative Elevator is proposing to rezone 4.09 acres of farmland north of 16014 Thrush Avenue, as well as the building sites at 16119 and 16129 Mill Street in Portland from R3 single family residential to M1 Light Industrial. Um, this will match the zoning classification of North Iowa Co-op's other operations on the north side of Main Street. This property is uh, completely located on the south side of Main Street. Uh, they propose to utilize this location for a new uh, bulk seed facility. Um, we are utilizing a tool uh, as recommended by the Planning and Zoning Commission uh, called the Conditional Zoning Agreement, uh, which is allowed by state code. Uh, it's something that we've used uh, not very often when the Ritz was considering rebuilding following their, their fire. Uh, we looked at using a Conditional Zoning Agreement. More recently, we used this with PM Park, and they rezoned the parade grounds from R1 single family residential to C1 local commercial. Generally, what we do in these conditional zoning agreements is that we limit the use and place some conditions on the proposed construction. Uh, because the use is a permitted use, uh, it would 
it would be unlikely that it would come before the Board of Adjustment. Uh, the Board of Adjustment can attach any conditions that they feel are uh, appropriate for variances or special use permits. Um, the Planning Zoning Commission felt that some sort of conditions would be appropriate in this particular case uh, because there is residential development around the site uh, and also access could be uh, uh, controlled some uh, into the bulk seed facility uh, by attaching conditions to it. So you have two items before you. One is the actual rezoning resolution, and then the other matter is the conditional zoning agreement. The state code requires that the applicant uh, sign off on a conditional zoning agreement before it comes before the Board of Supervisors. Uh, Chuck Schaefer from North Iowa Co-op has already done that. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the conditions in the agreement uh, because you've had a chance to look at them. Uh, but uh, the, the highlights of this pertaining to this particular piece of property uh, it, or that, uh, that the site shall be used as a bulk seed facility as of the date of the agreement. Vegetative buffer of not less than 100 feet in depth shall be established along the south lot line of the property. The existing tree line on the west side of the property along Mill Street shall not be removed. North Iowa Co-op shall add trees along Mill Street from the north end of the existing tree line to Main Street. Access to the site shall only be from a maximum of two driveways off of Main Street. North Iowa Co-op shall be responsible for controlling dust on the site. No structure on the site shall exceed a height of 45 feet unless a variance is approved by the Cerebral Board of Adjustment and all site lighting shall be directed into the site and away from property used for residential purposes. Uh, furthermore, the uh, conditional zoning agreement states that uses beyond those listed in the agreement shall require an amendment to the agreement. So they would have to go back before the Planning and Zoning Commission and the supervisors in order to use that, that site for another purpose. Uh, it also requires that they obtain zoning permits for any proposed construction. Uh, and uh, then this agreement by Iowa Code has to be uh, recorded uh, simultaneously with the uh, with the change of zone resolution. So uh, with those conditions, the Planning and Zoning Commission recommended uh, approval of the rezoning. I would say uh, that uh, we had probably the entire town of Portland here at our Planning and Zoning Commission <laughs> hearing. And uh, one of the reasons why we did do a uh, conditional zoning agreement and why the uh, commission is recommending that is to uh, to formalize and put into writing uh, what North Iowa Co-op has to adhere to. Uh, conditional zoning agreement has the force of law, just like zoning ordinance. And so this helped allay some of the concerns that uh, nearby residents had uh, and that they voiced during the public hearing. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Would you would you say again what this is to be rezoned from what to what? From uh, R three single family residential to M one light industrial. Okay. <coughs> okay. At this time, I'll open up the public portion of this hearing. Is there anyone who would like to speak for or against uh, this rezoning? Mr. Chairman, I hear no comment from the public, and I make a motion to close the public portion of our hearing. Okay. And I'll second it. Okay, we have a motion and second to close the public portion of this hearing. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, what are your wishes? Um, this time, Mr. Chairman, I would so move in favor uh, using resolution number 79 uh, for the set zone change from R3 to M1 for the uh, North Iowa Cooperative. I'll second. Okay, we got a motion second to resolution 2012 number 79. It's a zone change from R3 to M1. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. 
We don't have to do anything with the other, do we? We got yes, to We got yeah, okay that, that, that can be approved by motion. That's just a regular motion. Correct. Okay. What is your motion? At this time, I so move. Okay. In favor of the uh, conditional zoning so, agreement. Uh, with that motion, I do have a question. Like with the recording of the deed, that'll be tucked in there. Those conditions, we'll, you know, that'll be part yes, of like. We'll uh, run with the, the land. That's that's, that's the purpose of like recording the, it. The, the, um, Description. What, what do they call that? The uh, like a legal description. The legal description will so uh, have that, like a you know, a little sidebar. For thing. deed covenants or those types okay. of things. Yes, this will this will run with the land to okay. any uh, successors or or, or assigns in North Iowa. Okay. Okay. Let you the the motion? motion reflect that. Okay. Second. Okay, we got a motion. Second to authorize the chair to sign the conditional zoning agreement with the North Iowa Co-op. Is there any discussion on that? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, people. Uh, we've got that done. We're going to move back up to uh, County Auditors, item number three, drainage. We have no drainage issues today. Okay, moving on to item number four. Consider County Assessor's recommendation on homestead credits and military exemptions. Take the county and the city's assessor's recommendations okay. together. Um, these are the recommendations. Each assessor presents them in paper form, and the actual applications are in um, period binders. There's a bunch of them in our office um, from the county assessor right now. Um, our office will make those changes upon your approval of those recommendations. Okay. Mr. Chairman, at this time I make a motion to. Uh, accept the recommendations for homestead credits and military exceptions from the county assessor and the city assessor's recommendation on okay. the same. Okay. okay. And I'll second it. Okay, we have a motion second to uh, approve the county assessor's recommendation on homestead credits and military exemptions and the city assessor's recommendation on homestead credits and military exemptions. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of said motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <laughs> Item number six, resolution to approve auditor's transfer of funds. Thank you. That was transfer 1319. Um, it needs to be passed by resolution $462,500 from rural services to secondary fund. Nope, that. Oh, okay. Right. What was it? Four sixty-two and four sixty-two five. Okay. Yep, five hundred. Yep, four sixty-two five hundred. From uh, secondary. From to rural services to the secondary. Okay. Fund. Okay. What is your uh, wishes? Uh, I would so move in favor of uh, the transfer using uh, number eighty for the re resolution number. Okay. The approval of the auditor's transfer of funds. I'll second the motion. Okay, we have a motion and second to do resolution 2012 number 80 for a transfer of funds of 462,500 from rural services to secondary funds. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of said motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution carried. Moving on to item C, consider resolution adopting Sarah County multi-jurisdictional, multi-hazardous mitigation plan and authorize the chair to sign. I didn't make up the name of this. Dan Schroeder from Niacop did. No, actually FEMA, FEMA uh, made that. comes FEMA. up with the name. Can you tell the federal government was involved? Yep. Um, Dan Schroeder from Niacop is here and will uh, talk about the multi-jurisdictional, multi-hazard mitigation plan and uh, uh, the steps involved with this and the uh, meetings that have been held uh, leading up to this point? I've had meetings not only with the county, uh, but also uh, every jurisdiction within the county except uh, Swaledale, Rockwell. Those will be the only two because they had, they had previous plans already done uh, and that was per their request. Uh, they had already, 
they had already uh, had plans uh, approved, but their plans will be rolled into this one. So each jurisdiction and the county will be under one plan. Uh, this will also then be adopted by the <coughs> um, Steve O'Neill and his commission. They'll adopt it as part of their, their planning tools. Um, I, what do you want to know, I guess? <laughs> uh, is there any uh, anything, have you had a chance to look? I know Tom looked at it, he made some changes, so I'll take those back, uh, make those changes. Tom, um, did you want to comment on the changes you made? Um, most of them are minor in, in nature, so uh, there wasn't a, a whole lot of substantive changes that, uh, that I made in the plan. Dan did, did a, an excellent job of uh, putting the plan together and uh, addressing what occurred at, uh, at a meeting we had here in the boardroom as well as uh, the meetings he had with the individual municipalities. Would you say the process has been well mitigated? Do <laughs> 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 yeah. you have any questions for Dan? If not, I think we'll move on and we'll uh, do whatever you feel. This must be resolution day today. It must be. It must be. Uh, 2012, number 81. The resolution to approve the, uh, the plan is presented. Okay. And I'll second resolution number 81. We have a motion and second to do resolution 2012 number 81. It's the all day hazardous mitigation plan that you just presented. That's good. Is there any questions? Hearing none, all those in favor of resolution 2012 number 81 say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you. Now, anything else from the auditor's office? Nope, that will be all today. Thank you. Okay. Now we're moving on down to F, the, the dreaded manure management plans. And since I've read all three of them, uh, they're all uh, uh, the three of them. All oh, three of them? Yeah, there's one in the next one. Oh, I've been busy. Me. I've been busy. Uh, they're all renewals, and uh, at this time I'd make a motion that we approve them, or that we accept them, and that we send a copy to the DNI. I'll second. Okay, we got a motion and second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of said motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Thanks for coming, Dan. Thank you. Yep. Bye, Dan. Bye. Moving on to item G, agreements and contracts. Got okay, moving on to item H, appointments. At this time, um, as you know, uh, Bob Zinnel is re re uh, retired from the city assessor's office. Since we sit on that board, we have to. Uh, somebody to start looking for a, a new uh, person in that department and uh, after some visiting with different people uh, Bill Robinson from Mason City he's a, uh, a farm manager and he's uh, he's an appraiser he's been on the board the county board assessor board for Quite a few years and I think he just went on. Uh, he would be willing to accept uh, help him look for somebody. So at this time I'd make a motion that we appoint Bill Robinson to the Mason City Examining Board. I'd second. I'd say too I think Bill will make an excellent member. He's, he certainly has the experience and background to yep. do a very good job. Okay, we got a motion and second to appoint Bill Robinson to the Mason City Examining Board. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor said motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Item I, correspondence communications. Hearing none, the last item on the agenda is the agenda. I'll uh, make a motion for adjournment. Okay. I second adjourn. Okay, we got a motion second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. 
Thanks for coming in, Donnie. Yep, thank you, Gary. We'll see you.